Hello, in this video we're going to look at the envelope theorem, but this time using constrained optimization, and then we're going to apply it to something called Roy's identity. So the envelope theorem under constrained optimization. So we got this function u that we want to maximize subject to this constraint. And the effect on u star, called the maximum value function, or in our application is going to be the indirect utility function. Uh, so the effect on u star from a small change in parameter m is just the following partial derivative. So we take the partial derivative of this maximum value function, or indirect utility function, with respect to m, and we'll get the effect on u star from a small change in m. The envelope theorem tells us that this partial derivative over here on the left-hand side will simply equal the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to parameter m when we evaluate that partial derivative at its optimal values. The optimal values here being x star and y star. So again, u star, the maximum value function, indirect utility function, is a function evaluated at its optimal values for x and y. It is going to be a function of exogenous or non-choice variables. And so these variables are determined outside the model, like prices of the goods and income, for example. So the effect on, the mac on maximum utility from a small change in parameter m can be found by taking the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to m and evaluating it at its optimal point. So that's the idea here of the envelope theorem. Let's show this numerically. So let's show this numerically. We got our utility function. We have our constraint. We're going to form the Lagrangian. We're going to take three partial derivatives of the Lagrangian with respect to good x, with, with respect to good y, and finally with respect to lambda. We're maximizing, setting all the partials equal to zero. So the first two partial derivatives here, um, I'm going to solve for lambda. So I'm going to solve this first equation for lambda and the second equation for lambda. That's what I do right here. So moving some things around and dividing through by the price of good x. So we have one expression for lambda. And doing a similar thing here for the second partial derivative, solving that for lambda, we get this result. We're going to set lambda equal to lambda and solve for y. And if we solve for x, we would get this result. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this first result here, y equals the price of good x divided by the price of good y times x, and I'm going to plug it into our constraint. So where I have y here, I'm substituting in the price of good x divided by the price of good y times x. So here I make that substitution into the constraint, and I'm going to solve for x. So x star is actually the Marshallian demand, the ordinary demand for good x in this case. And then what I'm going to do next, I don't show these steps, this x equals the price of good y divided by the price of good x times y. I'm now going to substitute this into our constraint, and then I'm going to solve it for y. And after you make that substitution and solve for y, you get the Marshallian or ordinary demand for good y. So the optimal value of x, optimal value of y. Going back to our utility function and now evaluating it at the optimal values of our choice variables, making the substitution, and now just simplifying, this is our indirect utility function. If we wanted to find the effect on maximum utility from a small change in income, we'd take this partial derivative and you'd get this result. 
envelope theorem says, well, we could also get this result by just simply taking the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to income and evaluating it at its optimal point. So here's our Lagrangian. If we were to take the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to m, you would just get lambda. And if you recall from an earlier slide, we found that lambda equals y divided by the price of good x. And then we also, I'm going to write here too to remember that the demand for good y, the ordinary demand for good y was given as follows. So let's make a substitution where I have lambda. I'm going to put in y divided by the price of good x. And then where I have y, I'm going to substitute in m divided by 2 times the price of good y. Okay, so I'm substituting this y star in for y and simplifying lambda equals the following. And notice what lambda equals. It's the same thing as taking the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to income. So indeed, we can write the following, that the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to income is the same thing as taking the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to income and evaluating that that uh, point here, that partial derivative at its optimal point, optimal values. All right, now let's move on to Roy's identity, show an application of this. So Roy's identity. This allows us to derive the ordinary demands or Mar Marshallian demands from an indirect utility function by an application of the envelope theorem. So here's, uh, again, just kind of the Lagrangian setup. So the envelope theorem tells us that if we were to take the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to price of good x, it'd be the same thing as taking the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to the price of good x and evaluating it at its optimal point. So it'd just be minus lambda times x. And then we just uh, illustrated that uh, this following result right here. So notice if you were to take the first result and divide it by the second result and get rid of the minus sign, you would get just be left with x, the ordinary demand. So if we were to take minus the first partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to the price of good x, you'd get lambda x. And the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to income is just lambda, and this just simplifies down the x, the ordinary demand. So let's do an application of this. Here is our indirect utility function. Let's calculate both of these uh, um, partial derivatives. So the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to the price of good x equals the following, minus this stuff here. And then the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to income gives us this result. And if we form the ratio of these partial derivatives, and do some simplifying, notice what x star equals. It equals the Marshallian demand. So that's kind of neat. So an application here of the envelope theorem tells us that the ratio of these partial derivatives of the indirect utility function will equal the ordinary demand. I could have got the ordinary demand for good y uh, by ch just changing this top partial derivative to instead of p, sub a p subscript x to p subscript y. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.